Good morning, Blackhawks. I'm Melissa O'Donnell. And I'm Bailey Vindalista. And you are watching the Blackhawk Buzz Halloween episode, which starts right after this. On this episode, we're going to have numerous spooky segments brought to you by our very own BHB crew with special guest Aaron Tucker. Attention all girls soccer players that are interested in trying out for soccer. You need to have all your paperwork turned in to the front office by today. Now let's head over to a short clip by Hayden Wheelis and I for the lost and found. Hayden, it's horrible. I lost my Halloween costume and tomorrow's Halloween. How did you lose your Halloween costume at school? I don't know. It's me. Probably in the bookstore. The bookstore? Yeah, it's where they keep the lost and found. They have the lost and found? Yeah. What are you waiting for? Let's go to the bookstore. Come on. Maybe if we jump in, maybe we'll find it. Pretty deep in there. Yeah, goodness, who knew people lose so much stuff? Not me. Well, thank you, Hayden. You know, we found it. Now you're ready for Halloween. Yes, I am. Come on, let's go. enjoy writing short stories? Listen up, it is time for the National English Honor Society second annual short story contest. Turn in your stories to room 218 by November 20th to win prizes. Stories should be no longer than 2,000 words and have one dollar submission fee per story submitted. Get your right on. Over to Marlon and Damien with the Blackhawk Shop. Hey, where'd you get that? I got it from the Blackhawk shop. Whoa. Never bring a mustache to a beard fight. Donate money to participating teachers throughout the month of November. The winner will receive a crazy beard. Fortune favors the beard, so donate to Beardos. The next Creative Writers Club will be held in room 213 at 2.30 p.m. on Tuesday, November 3rd. Join other creative souls as they share their work. Aaron Tucker decided to come to the dark side and share with us the things that go on in the darkest parts of her mind. It's Isaac. <sighs> We've been through this before. He's been gone for three years. You just need to move on. He wouldn't want you thinking about him like this. It's, it's, it's not good for your health. <laughs> a 
Any girl who is interested in doing girls basketball or becoming a manager needs an athletic packet and a clearance card. Tryouts are November 2nd through November 6th from 5.15 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Now let's head over to Tage and Brady for this week's sports news. Good morning, Williamsfield. I'm Brady Bowman. And I'm Tate Chelmstatter, and here's what happened this week in sports. Swim and Dive finished 4th and ninth for boys and girls respectively at last week's Charger Invitational. Their next meet is at Santan Shadows tomorrow at 9 a.m. This past Tuesday, girls varsity volleyball defeated Skyline in a clean sweep at home on senior night. Varsity football suffered a tough loss against Skyline last Thursday. We send our best wishes to Evan Price and his recovery from the injury he encountered in the game. We hope to see you soon next season, dominating like always. The varsity football team has an away game tonight at Westwood in Mesa beginning at 7 p.m. Now we all know everyone loves to support the varsity football team every Friday, whether it be at home or on the road. And we all love the student section led by our very own Big Red Rage. So we were able to have one of their leaders, Wyatt Peterson, sit down with us and talk about this year's student section. When it comes to Williamsfield sports, it goes without saying that the student section is a vital part in supporting our athletes. Wyatt Peterson, one of the Big Red Rage leaders, talked to us about how he got involved and what they will try to do to hype up the student section every First week. First one, I, I had to quit football, and uh, then Ms. Carmichael came up to me and she said, uh, would you, you're very loud and energetic and hyper. Would you like to be a part of the Big Red Rage and maybe lead during football season? And I was like, heck yeah. A lot of athletes have given me feedback. They've uh, said that it's great this year. I get them hype, I get them loud. Everyone's always loud. When we, when there's a close game and there's like, it depends on if there's a field goal or there's a touchdown or something. Everyone always comes together and everyone always gets loud and everyone is either hugging each other or just doing something. It's usually random. It's, it's pretty hard to come up with like really crazy things because students sometimes don't really care. And so uh, it's hard for like, say we want a superhero night, not all students are gonna wear the favorite superhero or something. So we usually just try and come up with just basic themes for football and just have it, have, have it go how, how it goes. So if you're gonna be texting or talking to your buddies, then don't be in the student section because we will call you out. Speaking from past experience, he gave us some insight on how the student section can affect the players. So when I did play football, and uh, there was a student section last year, it helped. I know that when the crowd is hype and when the crowd is loud and supportive and just always being there and getting loud, uh, I know that the team, the team uh, gets gets more hype and they feel more, uh, they feel better about what they're doing. I feel like they can they can win no matter what because that student section is loud and it's hype and they're they're going all the way. He also shed a bit of criticism on certain people who lack devotion in the student section. Everyone in the student section needs to not be on their phone and not be talking to their buddies like it's a gossip hour. They need to be getting loud and be getting hype the entire time we are in there because we cannot be quiet anymore in the student section. This is Brady Bowman signing off. Now let's throw it on back to the studio. That's all for this week's sports news. Till next time, Blackhawks. With Halloween just around the corner, some of you might be thinking of going trick-or-treating. Well, here are some tips and tricks to make your Halloween a great one. Remember, don't go to houses with the lights off. What do you want? Trick or treat. Give me that, nerd. Fatality. Remember, kids, take only one piece of candy or you'll be cursed. Our very own Joriel and Holly have a very special segment for us this week. Let's go see what they have in store for us. Things are bizarre. 
For quite a while now, there has been this reoccurring problem. Well, not so much a problem for me, per se, but for others. I'll explain. Everywhere I go, people have the worst luck. No, like seriously, the worstest of luck. No! My work is gone! Every corner I turn, every room I go in, bad luck is bound to happen. It's like... I'm a black cat. Uh, you my dollar! Ah! And I need some answers, because now the problem is just getting excessive. These could be just coincidences. That's what I thought. But then, something really bad happened. Damn you, child. My dog. <laughs> Ace! Jump and jump a liar! I, uh, I mean, uh, my condolences. Oh no, just a few fractured bones, but still. It seems like something in your past caused this. Are you ready? Ready for what? To look into your past. <laughs> Curses, he took all the candy. He will pay. Well, hold your horses. All this because of candy? I like Kit Kats. Americans. It has been revealed. A curse has been placed on you. We must lift it. How? Evil doer, show your face. You're the dude from Halloween night. I'm sorry for taking all the candy. You are ignorant, blind to the feelings of others, only conscious of yourself. I disdain people like you. Sorry does not cut it for me, but something else will. What? The knowledge that you have learned your lesson by watching others experience bad luck. I hope to have opened your eyes so that you may feel some sympathy. I did. I did. I learned my lesson. Just make the bad luck stop. Then let it be done. Thank you. Listen, I don't know if this means anything. Here's a Kit Kat bar. Oh, I love Kit Kats! That is all for this week's episode of the Black Hawk Buzz. I'm Bailey Evangelista. And I'm Alyssa O'Donnell. Have a safe and fun Halloween, Blackhawks.